When most people talk about PTZ cameras, they may do so with a bit of cringe and hesitation. And while pan tilt zoom cameras have been around for decades, a truly broadcast quality PTZ camera just didn't exist until now. Freedom House Church in Charlotte, North Carolina is a rather large multi-site church that has a high production value led by their production director, Brad Christian. And when they designed their new podcast studio, the idea of using PTZ seemed quite intriguing given that they could use one operator to operate multiple cameras. And that means a sophisticated multi-camera production could be operated without a big team. And depending on the ease of use, that means the video production could potentially be operated by someone without a lot of experience. Recently, Freedom House Church has been working with the JVC KYPZ400 and KYPZ200 PTZ cameras. But before we get started, give this video a like and subscribe to the Church Production YouTube channel. I'm Brad Christian. I'm the production director at Freedom House Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. Freedom House is a unique uh, and energetic church that has been serving the Charlotte area for over 21 years now. We have three campuses, uh, but we have no uh, teaching that's done via video. Everything is done live in all of our campuses with our teaching team, which creates an amazing, fun place to be in production at. Freedom House Church has been using both the KYPZ400 and KYPZ200. The 400 supports up to a 4K resolution and a 12X optical zoom, while the 200 supports 1080p with a 20X optical zoom. So if you're looking for future proofing, it may be good to go with the 400 so you have that 4K for future viewing. But if you're just looking to stream, then the 200 is perfect at its 1080p. When I first got the JVC cameras, uh, I had grown up using some older models of PTZ cameras years ago, and I was concerned about how complex it would be to get the cameras uh, hooked up and using the special pin cable and things like that. But when I opened it up, it was a super simple experience. The capability and the flexibility of them with the HDMI or SDI out made integration into our system super simple. They have so many ways they can be controlled, but very easily being controlled over a network allowed us when we first started unpacking them all those fears kind of went away because it was a very easy way to set up the camera without a lot of advanced work and trying to figure out how things come together. At churchproduction.com, we're always excited to see how people use the gear, but mainly because we want them to show you how you could possibly use it as well. And Freedom House Church really uses these in a way that could be beneficial for large or small churches. With the JVC units, uh, we wanted to bring them in to be used in a new project that we're working on. Uh, Freedom House is creating a lot of content, and we are developing a studio that can create content for different applications and support different ministries of the church. And so we are using them in kind of a TV studio type environment and on a kind of a set. And the way they're deployed is allowing one person to do an entire uh, TV studio shoot with these cameras in a envir uh, living room type environment, which is very helpful to us with our very lean team, being able to have these cameras operating in that studio without having to use multiple camera operators and things that really are unrealistic during the week when, with our skeleton crew and lean teams creating this content. Freedom House Church has also been using the RMLP100U, which is a remote control camera controller. A zoom rocker, a joystick, a focus dial with a push to auto function, and can even be controlled over IP with up to 100 cameras. The controller was really impressive out of the box because it had a very large monitor, a lot of very tactile camera controls, a lot of different options in terms of how you could lay out your screen and very easy touch operation uh, with a two-handed zoom and tilt, pan tilt option with it. But at the same time, it was also very simple, very out of the box working in terms of just a few settings to press to get cameras talking to each other and picking options was super simple and very impressive is right out of the box. So while we've unpacked this product quite a bit, and I think it's kind of clear to all of us that this could be used by a big or small church, I really wanted to hear from Brad who he thought it would be perfect for. While we've been impressed with how the cameras have performed in the studio environment, as I've worked with the team at JVC, the expansion possibilities that these cameras have are really something that we're considering what they can be used for in the future in terms of remote control, video over IP, how they could be supportive of 
uh, campuses that are remote that don't have a camera operator or video team present at the campus. We're evaluating how these cameras could be deployed and help support uh, in that environment all the way down to just a virtual control room environment where we could use these cameras from our central campus even with somebody not in the studio. Typically a PTZ camera is very often used and is a favorite of like a traditional house of worship environment where you can't have camera platforms in a sanctuary and very easily yes that this JVC series with KYPZ 200 easily could work well in that sanctuary environment where cameras are restricted on where they can be. But with what's being offered now with the KYPZ 400 and its new connectivity options, that is a game changer for even modern churches and especially multi-site churches. We want to be able to capture the messages and things that are taught at our secondary non-video venues. With smaller campuses come smaller volunteer teams, but the whole world of PTZ cameras could be a resource that would allow us to tell the stories of the messages and the worship experiences at the smaller campuses on a more local level. Now, I've said it before, we have 10 cameras in the auditorium at the church that I work at, but it would be so helpful to have two to five PTZ cameras just hidden in places where cameras are hard to put. So a big thank you to JVC, as well as the whole team at Freedom House Church for taking the time implementing these into your system and giving us your insight. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Church Production YouTube channel, as well as check out churchproduction.com for new articles and insights on everything church production. As always, I'm Marcel Patillo, and I'll see you all in the next one.